Salutations and good morrow. If you want to welcome back to another grounded video where today we're going to be going over a new type of base that I just thought up in the old brain box up here that I thought what would be a fun thing for people to go through and do in the downtime between 9.0 and 10.0 because let's face it 9.0 was a building update so why not go through and give you guys some building ideas. Before we go any further I got two things for you guys. The first one is make sure you guys please hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already because less than one third of you guys are actually subscribed and even a few of you guys actually hit the like button. The second thing is I want to make sure that I am very clear when I say that these are ideas that have popped straight into my head. If you have built something like this in the past, I apologize. I cannot give you a shout out because I do not know. I'm not going around searching to see if other people had actually done these buildings. This is just something that literally I thought up in the shower. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing over the next couple videos. There's going to be three of these. There's going to be new building videos that are going to be coming out over the next couple days that are gonna have different builds like the one you're seeing right now. Now, I dubbed this one the Wizard Tower. I'm gonna to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of how to build it and also what all is inside and the benefits of having this base. So this is the Wizard Tower itself. You see, I give it that idea because it literally just has a round tower that goes up to a top square part where it has an open room. Now, this is completely editable in any way that you so fit, but this is how I decided to do it. I am playing on creative with bugs, that way I can build easy for you guys, but I'm trying to keep this base, this one at least, smaller so you guys can go through and try to build this as an outpost anywhere in the backyard that seems the most fit for you. So let's run over to the actual base. Now, first of all, it is mostly lit by slime mold sconces, okay? Slime mold sconces give off a green hue at night that make it look kind of spooky and kind of wizardy. I put up two different water catchers here right there on the walls pretty close to it to make sure that you have plenty of room over here in case you want to add anything else. Using the nice rounded walls, you can see that we have a good tower here. The tower is actually four high and the base is too high. In order to actually get into the base, I've kind of given it a secret like opening uh, where you go around the side and then there's a door right here. Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. Um, I Because I'm playing on creative with bugs, I don't have all of the different portraits unlocked. That's why we just have a couple base ones down here. But I figure we have a workbench with a nice chair because, well, if you're a wizard and you're working, you would want some sort of chair. I've also included an armor stand for whatever armor you choose. I decided to go with grub armor just because I like that it has goggles, aka safety goggles. Why you'd have safety goggles if you're not an evil scientist and you're a wizard, I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. All right, there's a bed over here because every house needs a bed. Let's go downstairs. Going downstairs, you will see that you have yourself a nice spinning wheel and lots and lots and lots of storage for whatever you may need, including some hidden storage back here that you can use for whatever your heart's content, whether it be things for incantations, spells, and or just things that are keeping you safe and alive in the backyard. Okay, so that was really fun to build. I decided to do something like this because I felt like, okay, well, what? how would you make a basement? Because I feel like, like you'd want storage down in a basement, right? So I went through and I built out something that, well, kind of to me resembled a basement. So this is the idea that I came up with. I like these half plank things um, using as shelving for more chests. There's other ways you could do it by turning these chests sideways. Um, but like I said, um, this is just, you know, a quick build, something that would be easy for people to build. I just didn't want to put down because you know you could literally fill two four five so 10 20 chests in here and another uh 10 of them over here if you tried hard enough um yeah 5 10 15 20 yeah so i mean you could literally put 30 chests down here but that is a lot of grinding of material and i thought well i don't want to give a base that you would uh, have to go through and spend tons and tons and tons of time building out. Granted, I give you that a lot of these planks and stuff like that will take a long time to grind up. But the whole premise of this is a wizard tower. So you go up the spirally spiral staircase. Four layers of spiral staircase, don't get dizzy. And then you have yourself just kind of a little area. Because I'm playing on survival with bugs, um, I didn't have the stuffed aphid in order to put down right here. That's okay, because uh, I want to put a, a stuffed aphid right here as a final touch. You have yourself a giant cauldron over here that can hold whatever liquid you so choose, whether it be puncho juice, whether it be um, one of the soda pop cans in the backyard, or if it's just nice good old water for you, you can fill that up right there. A nice smoothie maker and some some storage over here for you to be able to put all your different smoothie parts in including uh, your grub goop and your um, 
Brussels sprouts or mussel sprouts as they call it in this game. Now construction is difficult for somebody when you're going through and doing all of this so we are going to just give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough. Like I said it is a bunch of foundations down here that's what it is a bunch of square foundations surrounded by um, the weed stem walls. This can be replaced with grass walls if you decide to go grass walls instead because it's an easier resource to find not a big problem. The acorn fences definitely could be replaced with the uh, sprig fences but just a warning for you, these are not going to mount as easy to a sprig fence. I did put up more lights around the outside than you really would need, but I like the aesthetic of having the more lights around. Also notice that there's only windows on the second floor here and then up in the tower. There's not actually windows in the basement because like I said, it's supposed to be like a basement. These windows do make it a little bit easier for you to actually um, see out and also I'm hoping at some point in the game they make it so you you know you could put something over the windows i'd love some sort of like stained glass or something in the game i've said it before and i'll say it again um i saw in the obsidian live stream that they were able to make some sort of chandelier like this so i went ahead and gave it uh, my own college try i'll tell you it's not the best but it is what it is and i almost forgot to point out that i did put my favorite weapon the mint mallet up here and then a sort of spear or it is a spear but a sort of staff more or less up there to signify wizard staff I was able to kind of jerry-rig the roof a little bit as well to kind of get it to, to close up all the way. I'll see if I can hop up on the roof. Um, it's a little bit of a, a jerry-rig job, but it does work. And the roof is closed for 99% except for right here. We have a little bit of an area right here where rain could definitely get in. But you can't yourself jump in there, so that's okay. But that is pretty much the wizard tower. It took me... Well, in creative mode, it took me about 15 minutes to build. With all of the resources that are on here, I'm guessing it would take two to three hours of grinding to build. Um, less time if you went ahead and you just use grass um, grass blades in order to make it, but I think that the look of the wood just looks so good. And this idea right here of having the curved staircase right here over to a side door, I really liked that. I thought that that was kind of like a neat way to hide the door. Cause I mean, if you're standing on this side looking at the tower, right? And don't get me wrong, this tower looks really cool. But if you're standing on this side looking at your tower, you cannot see the door. All you can see is a nice little area that looks like a giant window. Like I said, we want something to cover that. But at the end of the day, that does look pretty cool. So guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Like I said before, only one third of you guys actually hit the like button. Actually, it's even less than that. We're talking not even 10%. But anyway, that's not really that important other than it helps the channel a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you guys comment down below if you watch to the end. And I'll make sure that I heart your guys' comment. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.